How's it going guys? Rio and Ethan here. Today's video is a little something different. So kind of this little outdoorsy kind of thing to do, our country life, but we're doing homebrew today. Um, we got everything sanitized so far. We're just kind of getting the water ready. Have all our stuff we need here. Got the bucket, our grains. So we're gonna show you the first step of the process, which is just getting your wart made. And after that, we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit. Make part two after that of tasting and bottling. Um, if there's any extra noise today, it's because of this guy. Wilson, say hi. Yeah. He may be in the background barking or something, but he's a good boy. So we'll see after all the water boiling and going. This is what four years of college taught me to make a camera angle out of. But this is the best way for us to see the color of the wart. Honestly, it's not too colored, and you may not be able to see it, but it's got some color to it. But it's going to be a Pilsen or Pilsner, so it's not going to be super colorful yet. Green bag coming out. No, you can't squeeze it, just gotta let it drain out. Like, you know, how water comes out of the green bag. So let that sit like that for a little bit. It's all done. Once it's all done, put our next little thing in. Now we just did our um, rolling boil. We got the Pilsen DN light uh, DME or dry melt extract going in. So make sure we got our spoon right to stir that up. I got as much as I could in. So we got the hops next. This is number one for a little bit. I have to put the uh, malt extract in. I'm trying to see what it looks like, but sounds good. And you see that, see uh, the hops in there. It's, like, it's kind of like citrusy. Mm. That's pretty good. So we're going to put these in for 45 minutes. So we're getting kind of close end of our um, first boil with all the hops and stuff. Um, next thing we need to do is um, once that's undoing what it's doing, we need to put in this. Also, poke this. We need that spices. And if you put that in, it'll let it boil just a little bit longer. And you put in our fermentation bucket, add some yeast, and let it sit. Come on, buddy. So, so our last little bit you gotta do, we gotta just, well, what's the focus? Spice pack. Put that in. All that shit in there. set up just a little bit we're waiting for the uh, um, other wheat stuff that's pretty good 
Street. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here. Oh, I think. Hey, boy, do you want to scrape off that, uh... <laughs> it's like pulling glue off, like putting your, like, glue off your hand. I'm so sorry about that. So, we got it all brewed down. That's what it's looking like right now. We're just going to transfer it from here down to the bucket that's down here. Let it cool down a little more. And then we put our yeast in. Let's put our yeast in. We put it in the bucket. Well, let's be in the bucket again, but we'll just put the lid in the bucket, put the bubbler on, and let it sit. But before we do any of that, we actually gotta check the potential alcohol or the specific specific gravity to kind of get an idea of what it's gonna be alcohol wise when we're done. Alright, so we got it all ready to go to the siphon, so we're just gonna start siphoning out obviously just basically a long tube like this. One end has to be higher than the other to kinda for gravity to work. One end in the other bucket. Or <laughs> Alright, so we got the brew kinda cooled down to where it should be. It's probably not there yet, but we had to, just had to siphon it from this pot we fermented in into the, or cooked in, into the fermenter. So for that to work, you need a siphon. For a siphon to work, you need whatever you're taking it out of, that being this pot, into the bucket. It has to be lower for gravity to work. That's kind of how a siphon works. So you want to take one end, put it in your mouth, and you want to basically suck it out like a straw. And the other end has to go into your liquid, but you don't want to touch in the bottom because you don't want to suck up any of the crap that's at the bottom. So once you do that, you want to watch it come up the hose and before it gets into your mouth or up all the way to the top, you want to take it out of your mouth put it right down to the bucket. So I want to see if I can, get, if I can, I can do this without making a mess, so here we go. After you got it first try. So you want to make sure that your hose end that you're sucking up with is staying in the liquid. You don't want to start sucking up air. Nothing till the end. The whole process over again. So it's been a few days since you last saw this video or saw us. It's been about five days. And we're actually just checking on the beer to see how it's fermented, how it looks color-wise. I can tell you right now, it smells wonderful. It looks it looks like beer. This kind of like chunky beer. It has the hops in it. Hops and spice mix in it. But it smells great. Um, I think we're gonna take some out to see what color the color of it, and they wanna do a secondary fermentation or not. If we don't, I'm gonna go straight to bottling and hopefully we got some good beer soon. So we'll check in a minute. So we just kinda transferred it, did the did the um figure out what it's gonna be for alcohol wise. It's looking kinda like orange juice right now. But it's what beer kinda looks like. Um okay so we did our math and it comes out to about this is the, hold on, let's think of this, uh, focus here, bud. So this right here is a 1.045, that's our original gravity. And this is 1.010, which is our, maybe our, pretty much our final gravity. 
and that comes out to about 4.59, which is pretty much what we're shooting for. But we kind of both decided, me and my buddy here, we decided that we need to probably just do a secondary fermentation to get the taste a little better. But just make it taste better, I think it's worth the wait. So we'll check in after the secondary fermentation starts. Or actually, we're going to transfer it. We'll film that and then, then it'll be after the secondary fermentation. So we're at bottling day. So right now we're just working on sanitizing the bottles. Uh -huh. We got a little, little set up little tube. We got a little wand that fills it up. And they're just filling about halfway and we're dumping it back in. And we're probably gonna sanitize about 11 or 12 bottles just in case. And pretty soon we'll be transferring the beer into the bucket getting some priming solution in there then it's going to be time to cap them and to do some ass kicking hold on let's check quick and load up as much stuff as i could take. uh yep one ounce this is an ounce right yeah okay they found did i tell you they found an original boy scout flashlight mm -hmm. No. That still works. Uh, we need to stir or thingy. Oh. Yeah. What's your biscuit? So I don't think you'd want too strong of one. No. Two. So we got our orange flavor right there. All our bottles sanitized. The beers in the bucket. We just gotta put. It in with Wait, the. I thought we put it in there. We go this, then there. Mm -hmm. A little more? Yeah, a little more. It's probably good. Good? We'll call that good. Oof. Yep, just dump it right in. I think we're gonna have to mix it up again. Open her up. Oh, I am. There she goes. I might have to tip it. I don't know why you would. How's that? Eh. Where's number one? Yeah. Hunter's turn. <laughs> 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 